In today's session, I'm gonna be talking about the questions that we ask a tenant when we're qualifying them. So when a tenant calls or emails in, we're gonna set up a call immediately with them. We're gonna go through the following questions. First and foremost, what's your name? Contact information, so we can reach back out to them, get follow up, try to get them to close the deal if it's something that they're interested in. And at the end of the day, their contact information is really important because we're gonna cross-reference it. We might even check references later on with it. Then we end up asking where they live currently. Are they living in the vicinity in which they're actually applying or looking for an apartment? Or are they moving from somewhere else? So we try to do that because it sets expectations. If someone's coming in from New York, what ends up happening is that most places in Boston might seem big. When it comes in from places like Texas, places might seem small. So you're gonna to wanna to take those into consideration as well. We end up asking them who they're gonna be living with. It's really important because we wanna make sure A, that everybody is at the showing that has to make a decision on the apartment. You don't wanna be showing over and over and over and not have the ability to actually be able to make a decision and say, well, I'm gonna ask my friend and they'll never get back to you. You wanna be able to close it on the spot if necessary. And that just speeds things up and that helps you minimize your vacancy. In addition, it'll give you a good understanding of who they're living with. Is it friends from college? Is it a girlfriend? Is it a wife, a family, a child? Right? You wanna know who's living in your unit. So ask them about it, what those people do. And what they do is really important because you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have minimum income requirements. And ours is three times the monthly rent. So if that means that your rent is $3,000 a month, we need to make sure that the group combined makes a minimum of $9,000 a month. And that's gross, not net. And what that allows us to do is to make sure that they have enough income hopefully, if their revolving debt doesn't allow them you know, to make sure that they make their payments on time. Speaking of debt, we're gonna ask everybody how their credit is. If they give you a hesitation and say, mm -hmm, here's the thing, we have a minimum credit score of 640, and 640 is only a number. You're actually gonna wanna look through that actual credit report to see what type of revolving debt, and what that means is any type of car payments, school payments, credit card payments, that they have to pay on a monthly amount on time if they actually want to be able to have good credit. They make $2,000 a month, but they have a revolving debt of 1,000, what's that leave them? $1,000. So what we've talked about so far is area that they, they're coming from. We've talked about credit, income, and we're gonna also talk about who they're living with. In addition to this, we're gonna ask them why they're moving, right? Especially during the mid years, sometimes it sounds finicky. I have to move right now. Nobody really usually has to move right now unless they're being moved for a job or something of that sort. So you wanna make sure it's not because they're being evicted, right? Or that there's an issue. All right, so we're gonna call and we're gonna ask their landlord verifications. We're gonna ask for also any other type of work verifications. We're gonna ask for pay stubs, recent pay stubs, because especially in this coronavirus situation, people are losing their jobs. And you wanna make sure it's not a pay stub from a month ago, and then they're not actually making an income. If they're in school, we're gonna get one copies of the letter. And if they are in school, we're gonna ask them, do you have a cosigner? Or if they're international, we're gonna need the right forms for the school. And especially, the next thing that I wanna talk about is moving costs. We wanna make sure that they have the funds prior to moving. And sometimes that's first month, last month, and a security, and that can be a lot of money. So people could just be kicking the tires and just saying, yeah, well, I have the money, but they don't actually have it. So you wanna just make sure that you clarify that in advance. There's no point in showing it if they're not able to rent it. In addition, we're gonna ask them, when are they looking to move in by, right? Some people, if we have vacancy in say October, they're gonna say, oh, January, I'm not gonna let a property sit vacant for three months. So what ends up happening is that we want someone that's gonna move in the next 30 days or so. We're gonna ask them how many other properties have they seen? That's really, really important because if nobody, they haven't seen anything yet, they're gonna to wanna to say, mm, I need to see more. If they've seen 100, what ends up happening is that they're gonna be so picky. So you wanna find someone with a nice middle ground. At the end of the day, you're gonna ask them what it is gonna take for them to rent out the apartment. Is it laundry? Is it this? What about the apartments that they've seen that they haven't liked? Get that feedback because again, your apartment might not fit them well. And you wanna make sure that they do before you go out and you show that. Cause it takes a lot of time and effort to be able to do that. So, and then we're gonna ask them, do they have any questions, right? Do they have any special requirements? Maybe they have a dog or a cat or they need five cars parking and you might not be able to allow that. So, at the end of the day, the more questions that you ask, the more answers you'll get. So we're gonna ask a lot of questions as well. So, 
Those are some of the things that we cover when we're qualifying a tenant. You've reached the end of this video and you are now one step closer to becoming the landlord that you want to be. With easy to follow guides and self-paced exercises crafted from decades of experience, you're sure to learn everything you need to know and nothing that you don't. Check out the description for more details.